Hey guys, Christy here from Dissolve the Life and welcome back to our channel. We are getting close to wrapping up this series on intro to HoneyBook Smart Files. And I'm so excited that you are gaining more knowledge. If you have not seen the previous ones on HoneyBook invoices, contracts, and proposals using Smart Files, go ahead and check them out on our channel. But today we are talking about HoneyBook Smart File questionnaires. Now, if you don't know what questionnaires used to look like in legacy files, take a look here. And now this is what they look like in smart files. It's completely elevated the entire questionnaire, not just by the look of it, but also your client experience. It makes everything so much more clear. Okay, so let me dive in and show you how to create a questionnaire in HoneyBook Smart Files. Okay, so moving on to questionnaires. Questionnaires are actually one of the things that have changed the most in smart files because you're really able to do so much customization with them. So with our clients, we've actually been able to create different PDF questionnaires in HoneyBook so that their client can just easily fill stuff in with the click of a button because of all the different formatting options that we have. So I'm gonna go through and show you some tips and tricks. Also show you access to the template library in HoneyBook which gives you so much inspiration when it comes to really what you can do with these smart files and different questionnaire options you can use. I know for myself, seeing visual examples is always so helpful. So I hope this video is helpful for you in doing that. Okay, so here is a banner, which I've already showed you how to do in previous videos, but just going over it again. Um, this is a background image that we've cropped to include this area. It also has a white background color with 33% opacity. So you'll see as I move that, I'm able to then just kind of visually change how that looks. Then we have an image here, which is just our logo. We could stretch this to be bigger or smaller, and you can always undo anything that you just did. Then also we have a text here, and this is our branding font. Remember, you can actually always upload your own branding fonts into here as well within the settings here. So if you click on font, you can click upload font and then create your company theme in here, which is so amazing. Um, okay, so we have image and we actually have a little divider in here as well. Just making sure that this is visually mapped out exactly how we want. Okay, so <clears throat> that's just a little visual. Another note here, you can actually copy and paste blocks. So I just copied that and now I'm going to paste it below. You can drag and drop blocks and you can move to top or bottom. So you'll see that there as well. So let me delete that. Um, okay, so the questionnaire. So let's just go through some content blocks. So here you can see the content blocks we can add our text questions. This is super helpful for questionnaires, obviously. Images, videos, dividers, company info, layouts, pasting from the clipboard. So something you just copied and then services, contract, invoice, and pay. So the services, contract, invoice, and pay, those are for um, like typically brochures or proposals. So we're just going to hit on the questions one today and just some formatting stuff here too. Okay. So if we go into here, let me just press text and then delete this. Okay. So what we did here was we have the header of the onboarding questionnaire and then we added just kind of these like little visual dividers to break up this questionnaire. So what I did here was I just created a text block. I wrote about you. I formatted this hovered over the text and then made it huge, centered it in the middle, and then I clicked on the background to change the background color to a branding color. So this branding color was CFD8FD, and I took this for my branding colors and then I just put it as the background. So once I did that, right, I was able to then go ahead, press Command C and then Command V, and then I just dragged this down to make the next section, which was about your business. 
And then I changed the background color to be another color. You can always keep it the same. You could format this however you want, just so it visually breaks it up and says, hey, this is a new section. So then let's talk about the different question blocks. Okay, so here you'll see I have a short text. Here's a long text. Let's go ahead and just go through each of what the questions look like. So here's a question. If I press that, it's automatically gonna default to short text, but we have different options here. We have short text, long text, drop down, single choice, multiple choice, and date picker. So short text would be like your name, and then you can also put a placeholder to say, this is how I want it to look, right? Christy De Silva. So when I press preview, this is always a great thing when you're editing, you can then see how this will look when you're formatting. Okay, so I'm gonna exit that. So that would be short text. You can also say that this question is required or not. So that way they can't go to the next page if they don't fill this out. And you can also link this response to a field. So in the project details section of someone's portal, this would then link to their phone number, address, lead source, project type, project date, about, budget, and guess is for weddings, right? So that would be, or any type of event. So that's where you can link the responses and decide if this is required. Another thing, you can always click on something and then change what it is. So say I wanted to change this to a long te text, I could do that. Let's go through the other ones. Drop down. So let's do, um, what's your favorite color? And then you could do edit options list and it would be red, orange, yellow, green, blue, etc. And I'm also gonna take out this placeholder so it doesn't say Christy De Silva. So now when I preview this, you'll see that's what this looks like. Now let's go into changing the single choice. So this would be a single choice. What's your favorite color? A drop down, a single choice, you can still only choose one from either of them. It's just a different feel of if you want a drop down or single choice, there are pros and cons to each. So then if you click preview, then you're able to only select one of these. So when you're in preview mode, you'll get that client experience feel of what your clients are getting on their end. And then multiple choice, that one's very similar. That is where they can select multiple. So here we have red, orange, yellow. And then exit preview. And then the last one is date picker. So this would be, when's your birthday? And if I preview this, then they're able to actually pick a date on here. Okay, so those are the questions. Then let's go over a couple other formatting blocks. So if you add a block here, say I put an image, well then I have the option to add all these different layouts, which is super cool. It makes it really easy to customize, but also gives you some great options and examples. Like look at this images, text, and grid. Now I easily have it formatted, so I could just pull up some images, put in a title, text this, I mean, write this paragraph out. And it's just really, really awesome in terms of gaining inspiration and making this questionnaire just a little bit more interactive. These are also really great for decking out your brochures. So you could see, I just added a couple images here, right? Um, and then another block I did down here, say you wanted to use questionnaires for content approvals. Well, this was actually a template in the layouts that was image approval. And here you could just upload an image, mark the checkbox to approve. They approve the image. Do they have any comments? So you'll see when I scroll down here, then they can say, love it. Can you change the color, etc." cetera? Um, so say you are a graphic designer, you can use that to have them approve these images. Say you're a photographer and you're 
testing some editing styles and want to get some feedback from your clients, you can use that to send over these questionnaires to get their feedback. Now, something that I always suggest is if, say, you are a graphic designer and you're going to request feedback on different visual elements, well, I would absolutely create a template that you can just use and upload and drag and drop and bring in your client's photos and what you're trying to get approval from right into here instead of creating this from scratch each time. The template center is the bomb. I love templates because they just make your life so much easier. You don't have to think about recreating the wheel every time. Everything is here. Okay, so in terms of formatting, you can also see that I'm able to actually change the background color if I wanted to of these, which is super fun. Um, I can create multiple columns, right? So if I go to um, questions, then you can see the different layouts, right? So you can have multiple questions side by side. So that's a new update within Smart Files from Legacy Files. You used to only have one line, where now you can have multiple columns. So something really cool here is, let me give an example of a DJ client that I had. We built out for him, um, it was, he wanted to say, okay, what is the brides, we're doing the wedding walkthrough, right? The brides, bridesmaids and groomsmen are walking down. So I need to know the name of the bridesmaid, the name of the groomsmen, and then the song that they're walking down to. So what we did here is we created a three column layout. We said, bridesmaid name and then made this smaller then add another text box here groomsmen grooms and then song then in here, we added those question boxes. So you can say bridesmaid's name here, or you can put that in here. I'm actually going to paste those in here. That makes more sense. Um, and then groomsman, and then let's put song. So now when I preview this, Look how it looks. Awesome, right? So now they can put everything's in one line. Another thing with these is once they're in your client's account and they fill them out, you're actually able to print the file or save it as a PDF also. So if you ever need to print out these questionnaires for any reason, they're gonna print on paper just like this and it's gonna be super easy for you to gather that information. Okay, so I want to show you that cool thing too about formatting these different things with different blocks. Um, again, you can see you can copy it, duplicate it, you can even choose a background image. So let's say, I'm just going to pick this one, obviously it doesn't totally make sense. And then the background color, hold on, whoops. Okay, so now you can see background color, opacity. If this is like a regular thing, image, then you'd see that there. Let's choose another one even so you can get a little bit more of a feel. Say it was um, this image. Then you can see, super cool. Just brings up, gives a little more dimension to these forms. Okay, so then you can also add on questionnaires more pages. So say you wanted to break up this about you and about your business. You could say this is about you. Then let's add another page, start from blank, about your business. And then you can go ahead and copy these blocks from page to page. So if I press copy and then bring this in here, 
I can paste this into here super easily and then just go ahead and go back and forth, paste everything in here or start from scratch if I'm starting from scratch. And then you can post these headers too. So you could say about you, about your business and then post everything below. Um, so then you're able to just have it less overwhelming on one page if there are a bunch of different things that you want to gather information about. And then one last thing I want to go through is the buttons. So I just made this from a one page into a two page. So I don't want it to click submit. I want it to click next. So two options here I typically go with are either just write next or you can write next and then what the next page is. So about your business. Whoops. So you also have to make sure that there's enough characters. So I'll say your biz. And then you'll see that. And then I would click on the next page and you can check the button on that. So whether it's next or submit. Um, and then you're just going to click update the template once you have done all of that stuff. So that is really it for, oh, and then here too, just some more content stuff. You can adjust the content width and then also the padding on the top and bottom. Also make it custom if you want to. Um, so that is it for the questionnaires tutorial. Um, it's really awesome. You can do so many things with them that's not it. I wanted to show you one more thing. Um, the template center. So if you go into tools, template gallery, this is where you can see all different temp, uh, templates that you have access to, to see what other people are doing with smart files and say you're building out a questionnaire. You can always go and click on questionnaires and see examples of just those if I click on this, you can walk through it, you can use this template, but also just gain inspiration to see how other people are using them in their business. So hope this was helpful for you um, and that is it. So I hope this video was helpful for you in talking about how to create a HoneyBook SmartFile questionnaire. If you want to finish out this series and learn about how to create a smart file for every single type, make sure to go ahead and subscribe to our channel and check out the previous videos. With that, if you have any other questions, make sure to drop them in the comments below and thanks for watching.